Hey, you. Huh? You're finally awake. I don't understand. Who are you guys? I'm Freddy Fazbear, the lead mascot of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Who are you? That's a very good question. I don't know. Your name's Jolly. Ah! Jesus, don't scare me like that. Well then, you two. I guess it's time to meet all my friends. Come with me. Freddy, what is this? Hey guys, it's me, George, your furry orange tiger friend. One, I'll give you a big ol' hug. <laughs> you call yourself a tiger? Pathetic. Where are all your stripes? Anyways, who are you guys? We haven't really known your names yet. Chica. Bonnie. <laughs> Freddy gets to have all the ladies. Wait. We were made to entertain for restaurants? Definitely. Our job is to deliver fantasy and fun to everyone. Isn't that exciting? Yarr, we're here. The delivery truck is in our next stop. Come on, everyone. Good afternoon, Freddy. You and your friends are all right to enter. Go find your correct spot on the stage. Foxy, you got Pirate's Cove all to yourself. Wait a minute. Jolly and George? You two aren't supposed to be here. Well, why else did you send us to Freddy's? Silly Jolly. I was supposed to take you and George to your restaurant. I only put you with Freddy and friends just to save time, that's all. Oh, all right. Let's go back to the cargo. See a springlock failure? Dude, you're not even a springlock suit. Are you sure you want to? Oh god! Oh god! <laughs> uh, don't worry, kids. I think Jolly ate a little bit too much ketchup. And uh, we'll be right back soon. Uh. So, George. 
Yeah? I wonder what your creators think of this situation. I don't want to talk about it. Okay, but what about Jolly? He's gonna get cleaned up, don't worry. The worst I could expect is that me and Jolly get fired and we'll never perform ever again. I'm sure that will never happen. Good God, I hope not. If we do, then it's all Jolly's fault. What? I'm terribly sorry, but because you went to add organs and human parts into your body, and because you purposely bled on stage for Halloween, I'm gonna have to fire you two. So, now that we both lost our jobs, I guess I could say, being jobless is not all it's cracked up to be. <laughs> Shut up. Hey, no need to behave badly. You're just flying off the handle. <sighs> Go away, I wanna be alone. Don't you mean, I wanna be alone? <laughs> shut up, shut up, shut up! I'm gonna rip your fucking chest! Uh-uh? None of this would have happened enough for your stupid prank! You need to stop taking it seriously and learn how to take a- Joke. Cage, what the fuck just happened? Those animatronics of yours were fighting in front of our house just because I excused them. Oh yeah, I apologize. I program all my robots to express emotions, even negative ones. Well, those negative emotions are certainly a massive flaw in these robots. Look, the agency has told me that we have three years to mend Jolly's public image or else we are screwed. Ah. <sighs> George? Uh, what? I'm sorry. For what? For scaring the kids away. I thought that since it was Halloween, I would be able to pull something scary. You should have dressed as something spooky, not bleed out on stage in front of live children. You've gone way too far and now everyone hates us. Us? George, you didn't do anything wrong. You finally understand? Yeah, you didn't do anything wrong at all. Why didn't he fire me only? Jolly, the doctor knows full and well that I'm innocent, but he also knows that I cannot do jack squat without you. I was just very upset that my job of entertaining people was just taken away from me over your sick fucking prank. So that was why you took all your anger out on me? Probably. It's fucking disgusting of you to do this stuff, man. I don't appreciate it at all. I guess this old place is where we live now. I might as well just go in. You better think about what you've done, man. Birds and bees, flowers and trees, ABCs, one, two, threes, you and me, sing along. To this song, so much fun. <laughs>